thank you for the interview. Yes. And um, could you tell me, Bante, who were you before you became a monk, before you ordained? What was your profession, your job? Did you have a family, wife, oh, children? Yeah. First, I have no family. I have my aspiration to become a monk when I was 16 years old. 16. That is my aspiration. So I plan to work for a while, okay? After my graduation from university, I always practice meditation and help people and bring people to uh, practice meditation at uh, many forest tradition in the north, in the northeastern, okay? Keep calm and humble in your mind with right intention to know the breathing every moment. I graduated from agriculture, bachelor degree in agriculture. Anyhow, I just work for experience, I don't mind. I start my job not in agriculture, in the bank <laughs> okay. for three years. And then go to the telecom, telecom for three years, okay, as engineer, okay. <laughs> and then to the mining, mining in Australia for about two years. After that, come to uh, gem and jewelry factory about 10 years. And then I got my own business as a language school for about five years, okay? Because my aspiration always told me when I do business in my heart, I, are you ready to become a man? <laughs> Oh. Sometime, sometime, okay, let me a few years. <laughs> <laughs> few more years. Few more years. Right. Right. <laughs> Anyhow, because I uh, practice meditation along together, along together when I do business, then uh, I also develop myself to prepare myself. Because uh, if I come to become a monk, I should have uh, maybe good basic. When I was about 12 years old, I got examination uh, to the famous high school, okay? And 50 years old also. Then I just uh, practice, interested in practice meditation for my education. It helpful a lot. Mm -hmm. I start practice meditation 12 years old, but uh, more and more, 16 years old. Okay, and more and more, 20 years old up uh, to traveling around Thailand to find master. Okay. Stay mindful until you got more awareness, and until you become aware of yourself more and more. You are sitting, you are breathing. You become aware more and more. And until you got more awareness, until you got more and more, until you be, you got seeing. When you got seeing, now just stay seeing yourself. See is awareness. You must watch what you see. You see you are sitting. You must watch how you sit. You see you are breathing, you must watch how you are breathing. Okay? See and watch. Bante, what, what happened uh, when you were 12? Yeah. When you were, what, was there any moment in your life when you were 12 that you said, I want to go and meditate, I want to be a Buddhist? Uh, 12 is uh, the first time I practice meditation because I am in the primary school and mm -hmm. I'm really lucky. My school master teaching meditation every day in the evening, chanting very short and practice meditation maybe five minutes. And then 
before go to university, I have to get examination. Uh, mm-hmm. Then I just realized that I need to practice meditation. Then I got success. I can go to the most famous, most famous pre-university school in Thailand because of meditation. And close your eye. For myself, I watch the breathing now. Then I see the breathing. I look and watch together at the breathing because I cross my eye. Then I look and watch together, and we see clearly. And then I listen to my heart together because. Normally, our practitioners got desire in practice. When you listen into your heart, desire, even desire in practice, calm down. You got a lot of expectation in practice. When you listen into your heart, it calm down and let it go. Did you find your where, where did you find your master, your meditation? Oh, when I was uh, 20 years old, I come to Pipali Wanalam Temple. Uh, because uh, uh, the rector of the university was a follower of the Kasapa Muni. Uh, he is uh, he he brought a student from university to come here, uh, a camp, uh, doing a camp and learning meditation from Kasapa Muni, the great master. He was quite famous, the Kasapa Muni here, the first airport, the founder of this temple. Then I met him when I was 20 years old. And then when I graduated from university, the first time I ordained and become a monk with him. Oh. Under his guidance, eight months, practice meditation. And then you disrobe? Disrobe because uh, I just graduated. And then uh, I just plan, I become a monk, maybe for one wasa. Then I disrobe uh, to to do business, I was uh, under Kasapani guidance. And because every day, you know, two hours practice meditation, sitting two hours straight away, every day, uh, with a, a small group of monks, about five, six, seven. And every day, my master just uh, teach us meditation and practice two hours every day, at least, okay? <laughs> What was the meditation? Breathing meditation. Just Anapanasati. Anapanasati. Then that is the first time that I got experience in calmness and insight. With intention, right intention, you will got clear awareness of whatever you are watching and seeing. Watching and seeing with clear awareness now. Now you got clear awareness, wake up, wake up. So what 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 is your method of meditation, Bhante? Basically anapanasti. But after that I just develop another two. The other is emptiness meditation. That means I empty my mind, let go first before I practice meditation. Okay? Uh, because Sometimes people have a lot of expectation in the practice. So then uh, he got obstruction. But before I practice, I just open my eye and see the nature, letting go, maybe two, three minutes or five minutes, and then it calm down by itself. That is the way I found out awareness, okay? Uh, because when you empty your mind inside your heart, you feel really light, even you open your eyes, the nature. Then I can realize breathing in, breathing out. So then I just uh, always uh, practice meditation based on emptiness meditation. Men- emptiness is sunyata, sunyata. And the other one is kayakata uh, sati. That means mindfulness regarding your body, your body movement. Okay. When you walk, you just be conscious, knowing, knowing and aware. You're walking, you're eating, you're drinking, okay? So I practice three in one. Anapanasati, emptiness meditation, and kayakatasati together. Right, so 
you start with the emptiness, you start with letting go, or it's just three in one, you, it doesn't matter which one is first? Oh, three is come in the one, because mm -hmm. when my mind, in my heart open, then it become fully conscious of the whole body sitting. And then it become fully conscious of the breathing, the natural breathing come in and out, inhale and outhale. Normally, when you practice, you try to focus the breathing. Okay? That a lot of cell, a lot of cell from your cell or uh, expectation. Okay? But now we just let go. Okay? Let go and relax. Two, three minutes. When you start practice meditation with uh, letting go, how to let go, relax your body, relax your heart. Then you relax more and more. You got letting go. When you got letting go, you can feel your breathing from your heart. Okay? Like you sit in the nature. And then you can feel all aware of your natural breathing. Those practitioners always force the breathing. Try to breathe in. Try to breathe in and out. That a lot of tension. Okay? So when you letting go, then you got three in one. All Dharma teaching come into emptiness. I found out by myself, emptiness first. All Dharma teaching come in emptiness. Anapanesi come in emptiness. Kayakata sati, mindfulness regarding your, your body uh, posture, come to emptiness. And in there, we call clear knowing inside with awareness. I found this is, this is the access. Uh, normally people start practice from the mind to focus. They forget here the mind in your head. Here is your heart. Okay? So you must open your heart first. Relax and smile. Relax your body, relax your heart. When your heart open, then what you feel? You feel the breathing, then your mind wash. Okay? You feel the breathing in and out, you might wash. Uh, because you feel, feel the breathing, the natural one. Normally you focus the breathing, you do not feel the natural breathing. You focus the breathing and you force the breathing. Okay? So force meaning you control the breathing. Yeah, this is we not control. Mm. Before I did, I did the same, <laughs> control the breathing. Mm. But I feel how this, this is, I feel that this is the maybe more more suitable for me. Then I just try to find out how to develop more awareness. Then I I just find out that awareness is so important. If you awareness, mindfulness, not go to the future and the past. You are you everybody got mindfulness, but mindfulness to look for something in the future and the past. Okay, look for money, look for a how. Then when your mind, mindfulness relies your body and your mind, then it not look for something outside, it look for what you got inside. The mindfulness can see. Then when we see with more awareness, oh, it look like it more, more release when you awareness. If you don't have awareness, you, you watch. You are desire, this you are desire not release, but with awareness it release. So then I just develop awareness to release first. And when release more then just watch. Anything else in my heart still inside there, any less to do, okay, inside. Then just awareness and watch. Awareness and watch. Okay? So awareness can open up the heart. Yeah, so that I found out myself. Awareness is the way to open your heart. If you wash, your heart not yet open. You wash. You cannot see clearly. But when you awareness, you wash. Awareness, you wash. So awareness is sampachanya. Uh, wash is mindfulness or sate. Okay? You, you use these two qualities together. Mindfulness and sampachanya. Uh, mindfulness state and sapachanya awareness. Okay, there are diff there are different uh, interpretation between uh, Asian people and Western Asian people for Thai 
Thai people or or Sri Lanka or Singapore or Malaysia when I tell them hard or jitta they say here when I talk to foreigner jitta they say here <laughs> they are two two different interpretation so then I just make it hard here is the pure jitta or we call uh, pure mind this is conditioning mind okay, okay. <laughs> but in Thai language we have word we call jai you must meditation from pure mind not from dirty mind here yeah. this is dirty mind conditioning mind this is you have a lot of doubt when you practice this one watch your breathing why is not not smooth then force why is so rough then just breathing softly this one you have a lot of up down and and something to 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 control the breathing but this one only open and aware and realize things as they are the best way to learn meditation or inside meditation not separate meditation and inside meditation the best way come together now people make separation starting calmness meditation first and inside meditation later or some people starting inside meditation first and calmness meditation later but i found in the sutta there are three three ways uh, meditation first inside meditation later uh, inside meditation first and meditation or concentration later but the the, the third one is uh, concentration or meditation and inside come together i found this the 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 best way to 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 teach people or even yourself for example in one period you must teach people to understand uh, the whole picture of calmness meditation and inside meditation based on three things uh, we call atapi uh, sampachano satima in bali atapi is right effort Sampachano is Sampachanya awareness and Satima is mindfulness or Sati. Uh, right effort, the first one, you tell them not expect anything, okay? <laughs> right effort is just do but not expect. You will got into the jhana, you will got inside, no, not expect anything, okay? Uh, when you just do by letting go, not expect, okay? How? Uh, right effort just realize uh, dirtiness in your heart coming up and let go anchor in your heart coming up let go how don't practice anything in the first place sitting and relax first for five or ten minutes then you feel, you feel more more calm by by nature okay and then uh, just Put light effort in your heart. Let let go, let go whatever in your heart, uh, from house affair, from office. Uh, you are here in the temple, but your heart in your house, okay? Or your heart in your office? No, let go first, okay? When you let go, then you uh, you have your heart good quality enough, okay? Good quality enough for. First, you will wake up with awareness, okay? When you let go, uh, now you let go in your heart. You will feel your, your natural bleeding by itself, okay? And then, mindfulness wash together, okay? When you feel, feel your bleeding in, uh, before you not feel your bleeding, not yet, but you try to look for your bleeding, wash. But now you feel your bleeding first, when you feel, then you wash. Oh, you will, you will see clearly how the breathing moving in, inhale and outhale. Okay, not you make it or force it. So you feel breathing by uh, naturally. This is uh, good awareness. Okay, not try to be aware of the breathing and force the body. No, just let go first. Right effort, right effort. Then your heart is ready to realize things as they are. Then you just, just
just feel or aware. People maybe don't understand how to be aware. Okay, just feel relaxed. Okay, feel relaxed your body, feel relaxed your breathing. Then you got there. Feeling relaxed will help your heart awareness wake up. And when your heart awareness wake up, don't 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 lose in thought. Just just stay here mindful. Watch and see how the breathing in. Watch and see how the breathing out. Then you come together three in one. Okay, right effort, awareness, mindfulness, three in one. Okay, so this is in one period. You, uh, if you teach in one period, at least three things: right effort, awareness, mindfulness, together, and uh, then they will know, they will realize calmness, and they will know how to do it. So this, I just teach how to do it. Okay, not give them more academic. Uh, just how to do it. Your heart, very simple. Let go. You have peace in your heart when you let go. And you got aware. Aware of your breathing, more peace. Uh, if you aware of your, your household or business, more worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then when you aware of your breathing, then wash inside. It's not only the breathing only. It got something in your heart. When you aware, of your breathing. When you wash, you can see your breathing and your heart inside. Quality, what your heart quality inside. But if you don't have awareness, you wash your breathing. You can see only the breathing. Okay? Then you have to next period, maybe next week, next month come. Uh, I will teach you next lesson. Wash your breathing and wash your sensation, wash your mind and wash your dharma quality. But if we start in the first reading, First lesson, teaching uh, beginner, just awareness. When you wash, uh, letting go first and awareness. When you wash the breathing, you will see the breathing and your heart. And more you see the breathing inside deeply. You can see more your heart deep inside. Uh, wholesome or unwholesome. And when you see more with letting go, unwholesome state, you can let go easily. And then you will wake up with calm, calmness and peace inside and with understanding so when the next you are going to Australia and you are going to England so the westerners seem to seem to listen seem to yeah listen. quite happy because first when they come to my class uh, they always Practice meditation. Close the eye immediately. I tell them, open your eye first and letting go. Relax your body, relax your heart. They never relax the body and heart. When you, they relax only two minutes, they feel peace. Even they don't not do any meditation. <laughs> okay, this is good introduction to foreigners. Okay, <laughs> they feel peace. Even do, they don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you, man. Okay, so blessing you with the Ma'ai in this very life. Satu, Satu. Alright. Thank you, man. Good? Yeah, good. <laughs>